Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsicle and welcome to episode three, yeah, episode three of Mean Girls Sorority Rush. Let's get started. Ah. Oh. I was expecting um, ads, because normally when you click play, you get loads of ads, don't you? But I've got like a two day pass um, where I don't have any ads or anything, so. And as many goes as I want, so I'm probably gonna be playing a lot of episodes in the next couple of days. But here we go, uh, Mika. How great is it that Freaky Borsha moved out? Oh, poor Borsha. Just up and left last night. Fine by me, because that means PDA shall reign once more. <laughs> They're always kissing. Knock, knock. Hello. It's your new roomie. Oh, no. Not Gretchen. Surely not. <laughs> oh, no. You're moving in? Of course. You are my number one choice. Oh, no, I can't. I mean, she's, like, harmless enough, but I really can't stick her. After Regina and Karen and that Borsha girl is, like, kind of poor, so it was really easy. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I just had Daddy send her some strudel money her way. Oh, no, but I don't want to move. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Eight grand? Oh, my goodness. Poof. Ten. Gretchen said ten. Oh, she's such a dope. Sold. She got ten grand to move out. Boy, she's like, yeah, nice one. Imagine that, someone offering you ten grand just to move rooms. I would happily do that. <laughs> and it gets better. Not only are we living together, but we're pledging the same house. Delta Mutau. Ow, ow. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> but it's always time to get over there. And I walk really slow in these shoes so I could get going now. So I should get going now. I'll meet you there. I've got some studying to do first. She must be slow if we've got time to study first. Which class are you studying for? Oh, history of theatre. Ooh, Psychology 101, Architecture 101, Biology 101. Biology 101? History of theatre. History of theatre, because Mika likes theatre, so. Janice and I are taking it together. I promised I'd wake her up when she falls asleep in class. Good luck with everything. <laughs> he likes to have a little chuckle to himself about things, doesn't he? Where are we going? Class? Western theatre originated in Athens, Greece, as part of a culture that included athletics, music, poetry, politics, and religious rituals. I hate studying. It's like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly how I feel. I'm so glad I don't have to study anymore. Oh, we're in the library. Time for the first rush meeting at Delta Mutau. First meeting. Hope it goes well. Oh, look at everyone. Oh, everyone's so pretty. Hello, green-eyed Gretchen. Somebody went shopping. Oh, whoa, is that Borsha? Look what Ten Grand can do for you. <laughs> On behalf of Tamara, myself and Delta Mutau, I'd like to say that we are thrilled to have such an awesome group of girls rushing this year. I don't really understand this whole concept. I think I said in the last episode. I don't really understand. Like, what, does it, what do you mean, rushing? Like, wanting to join the sorority? I don't understand sororities. It's all lost on me, this American stuff. <laughs> Integrity. Charity. Sisterhood. These are the pillars of Delta Mutau. <laughs> We're looking for outstanding young women who truly embody these tenants. And with that, Tamara and I officially welcome you to Delta Mutau Rush Week. Yay! Thanks, Michelle. Hello, ladies. I like Tamara. She's pretty, isn't she? As you know, my name is Tamara Murphy, and I'm the president of Delta Mutau. And it's my sworn duty to oversee the rush process. If anyone can enlighten me on this, if you are American, please do so down in the comments. <laughs> I am not your friend. I am not your big sister. I am definitely not your mummy. Any questions? Oh, maybe she's not so nice after all. Okay, good. 
The purpose of Rush is to test your limits and to determine if you have the inner strength to be a Delta Mu Tau sister. So you have just one goal here, survive. Whoa, sounds a bit intense. Survival. <laughs> How do you survive? One, you obey the dress code at all times. Oh no. Two, you do whatever your sisters say or face punishment. Um, excuse me. Hi, Gretchen Wieners, Strudel heiress. I'm just wondering what sort of punish punishments might we be facing? It's up to you, Gretchen, to not find out. Ooh. Okay. And three, you must complete every task you are given. Trust me, they'll be checked. Questions? No questions for me. Good. Break any rules and not only will you be punished, but so will your entire Rush class. And you'll face an additional week of pledging. I suggest you stick to the rules and more importantly, stick together. Alright everybody, so now let's... If anyone would care to leave, and I'm being totally sincere when I say this, please leave. Oh my goodness, she's kind of harsh, isn't she? <laughs> the door is right over there. There's also a door over there. And another over that way. Fire codes. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, she's quit already. Uh, but I. Not everyone has what it takes to be in Delta Mu Tau, ladies. Oh my goodness. Like, that little speech just made her leave. We've got it. We can do it. See, Greenard? That little curly fry dropped out before we even started. I liked her hair. That's so nasty, Regina. Just like I said, uh, yeah, Regina, I saw, I'm telling you, take my advice and bow out. I just want to spare you the inevitable pain of rejection. Fire back, let it slap, fire back. Regina, this isn't high school. This isn't a popularity contest. This is about sisterhood. Sisterhood only applies to those who make it into the house. So, not to you. Is there an issue here? Nope. All good, Michelle. Hmm, maybe she's right. If it does come down to me and Regina, would they really pick me over her? Or pull yourself together, Jemsico. You can't let Regina George psych you out. All right, ladies, are you ready for your first Rush Week assignment? It's going to be a real cakewalk. And remember, we see everything. Oh my goodness. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness, what on earth? Hold on, I need a picture of this. Everybody looks so adorable. Smile, ladies. Why are we dressed like this? I have no idea why we're dressed like this, but I love it. So hot. This is awesome. Details, please. <laughs> it's our first rush assignment. I'm supposed to deliver a cupquake to the president of Theta Pi Chi. Pfft, don't know how you say that. And then ride away on a tiny bicycle. <laughs> Very funny. Why are you here? This is the house I'm pledging. Gay bros are in high demand. <laughs> nice. Plus, you should see the guys I'm rushing with. I have my sights set on one in particular. You maybe don't want to go chasing a straight guy. <laughs> Definitely not. He's a gay guy who only thinks he's straight. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to be the one to help Brody come out. Well, if anyone can do it, it's you, Damien. Hey, could you get Cam? I'm supposed to deliver this cupquake in ladylike fashion. And apparently, they're all we're all being evaluated. Hey, look who it is. Like Cameron. Okay, gotta turn on the charm. I hardly recognised you in this fancy get-up you're wearing. Be flirtatious, be funny, be energetic. Ooh. I feel like I want to be flirtatious, but before me... I'm um, joke, be flirtatious. Oh, this old thing. I have to say, this is not what I had in mind for rushing Delta Mu Tau. Hmm. Hey, Damien. Can you let the guys know we're pushing the egg rocket back to 5.30? Sir, yes sir. 
I've got to say, this is one of my favourite Delta Mu Tower Bush traditions. Clowns, cupcakes, what's not to love? Let's see. How about slaving away in the kitchen to make treats for a bunch of men? Actually, the cakewalk started because women on this campus weren't being taken seriously. Really? I can't believe Tamara didn't tell you. When, e of, when U of E became co-ed in 1904, the majorly sexist Dean of Students banned women from taking math and science classes. I believe his exact words were that women should focus on baking and beauty. That's so crazy. So the Delta Mu Tau sisters said, if you think women are just cupcakes and makeup, then cupcakes and makeup you shall receive. That's so awesome. <laughs> they all marched into the Dean's office wearing clowns costumes and holding cupcakes and they refused to leave until he opened the math and science departments to women. Nice one, you go girls, that's amazing. I know it's like, is it fictional? I don't know. Is that a true thing or is that just for this? I have no idea, but that's awesome. Whoa, now it's just a fun way to introduce you to all the guys in your brother fraternity. Plus, I think the cupcake thing is a nice neighbourly thing to do. My mum always took over a plate of brownies if someone moved in on our street. It would be even nicer and more neighbourly if the boys did it too. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, I have a cupcake for you. Thanks, Greenoid. Ooh, it's a strawberry one. It's a shame you're not having more fun with this. Like your friend over there. Seems like she's having a blast. Oh no, look, she's gonna, yeah. Regina, Regina, Regina. Never seen someone get so popular so fast. Regina one, green eyed nil. Oh dear. Regina is already shoving me out of contention. Maybe I need to talk to Katie. She's the expert at high stakes Regina drama. <laughs> Call Katie for advice, we can't. Don't get her advice, we don't need it, we can do it on our own. Oh wow, look at us all, we're all in. I cannot believe they're making us wear this. But jumpsuits have really made a comeback. They all actually look alright. <laughs> Shut up, Gretchen. Orange make everyone look like puke. <laughs> Orange is my least favourite colour in the whole world. It's a welcome reprieve from my cupcake delivery clown costume. Between you and me, I sneezed on my cupquake. Cupquake? <laughs> cupquake? <laughs> cupcake before I delivered it. Looked like vanilla frosting. Oh, that is disgusting. In other news, I overheard Michelle and Tamara saying they're cutting two girls at the end of the night. What? Then they were reminiscing about their first prisoner party. Apparently they snuck into the sewing room and decorated their jumpsuits. Hmm. They kept talking about how they hope the rushes will get creative. I just had an idea. Prison break? No, we should bedazzle our jumpsuits. Tamara and Michelle would certainly love that. That's such a good idea. Decorate or pass. Oh, really want to decorate them. This is annoying. I'm going to pass on the idea. I think I'm going to have to buy some gems in the next episode because that's really irritating. Pass on the idea. This orange jumpsuit is pretty ugly, but I think I can deal with it. I'm just curious about what the other ho about what other horrors they have planned for us tonight. Horrors? Tonight is a party, which is not yours to enjoy. Ooh, Tamara. Listen up, Rushes. You are not party guests tonight, and you are not here to have fun. You're here to work. What? <laughs> oh, did you know like that? A true Delta Mutau knows how to entertain in style. Your job is to make sure our guests have the best possible time. Anyone who falls short will be cut tonight. Oh no, there's tears. Drama. This will get so many views. Sorry, do you even go to this school? I think that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is it. We don't want to rate. So next episode, I'm assuming we're going to have this party and we'll see what all goes on with it. Let me know whether you think I should get some gems. Give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying this series. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Don't forget to click on the little bell to get notifications from the channel of when I am posting a new video. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.